Hi, uh, can you all hear me? Good there. Okay, uh, this is a uh, thank you. Welcome all to APFI's open house. I'm glad that you know you're all able to make the time here. Thank you to our mentors uh, who've spoken before me. Um, okay, so a little bit about myself. I am a sound designer, but also a location sound recordist um, based here in the Philippines. Why do I say based? Because I am from Malaysia. So um, I'm a Malaysian uh, immigrant, <laughs> I guess you could say that. And um, uh, uh, the thing is that my background from Malaysia ties hand in hand with what I'm doing right now. Uh, I came from a musical background. And so when I came to the Philippines, you know, um, doing sound wasn't my first option. But then again, you know, who knows really what they want to do in film? Uh, no, okay, I'm kidding. I just speak for myself there. I don't speak for anyone else. So, um, yeah, and, uh, and right now I find myself doing location sound recording. I find myself doing uh, sound design for films, TV, for advertisements, for commercials, for, and, and the, whole, the whole, you know, plethora. Um, and I am the only sound instructor in APFI, so that means I do dabble in the whole, um, the whole, uh, the whole genre of films uh, of, of productions that uh, you can think of, and that includes um, even vertical shooting or uh, right now um, what's viral ASMR videos and and whatnot. So um, basically, my aim is 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 very simple: is to develop an appreciation for. Um, Lame of the course is simple, to develop an appreciation for audio in film or TV um, and also to maximize the potential of your audio when it comes to your own projects. Um, Sir JD just mentioned a while ago that, uh, you know, we collaborate between editing and sound, right? That's on the post-production side. Um, my, my, my I would say my duty or my task is to make sure that the students understand that from the shoot, no, from before the shoot all the way until the end of the shoot, until you start editing your film or your project, that you understand the requirements that it takes to be able to produce a film that sounds awesome. All right. And I don't say this lightly because, um, we have learned in film school before that a film is made up of two parts your visuals and your audio as simple as that um so my my you know i i hope that i would be able to impart in students uh a well a deeper despite the brief uh time that i'll have with them a deeper understanding of what is good sound for a film or for their or for TV, what it takes to get good sound, as well as how do you save yourself or your film from, I guess, bad audios, <laughs> bad audio. Uh, so yeah, um, what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, I will be. Uh, I'm. I'm very hands-on in terms of you know how I approach my class. Uh, if I need to, I will, you know, bring equipment to school. If I have to, I will be there at a shoot with students. I've actually done a number of uh, a few projects with the APFI students as well to show them, you know, what uh, what equipment is used on set and to also be there to actually shoot their projects. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I think I think what's important is understanding that uh, when we talk about a film project, it's easy to, to, it's easy to forget that the aspect of sound um, can actually be uh, sidelined in a sense, and I mean, you know, and I mean this in the best way because there are ways to go about it, like uh, what Sir JD brought up too, AI, for example. But it's not just that. Um, you can dub audio. You can make, uh, you know, diff you can have different techniques to replace audio, and and 
And, and that's the thing. I mean, we have to be very flexible in the way we do things. Um, Ms. Mads, for example, uh, illustrated that, you know, we have to be brilliant thinkers or be very creative in the way that we handle the project. So, so that's my aim too, that as a filmmaker, you will be able to go to your project with confidence and say that, you know, yeah, I, I think I know what I want to hear from my film. I think I, want, I know, you know, what, what kind of effect I want this scene to, um, to evoke in the audience. And, um, and I will, you know, most likely be teaching you from the perspective of a filmmaker, not as a technician. Um, bear in mind, audio is very technical. Uh, but there is also a very, very um, emotional aspect to it, which I will try to develop in you as a student. Uh, so, what else? What else can I say about the course? If you plan to make a film that has uh, no audio, that's all right. That's perfectly all right. In fact, um, I confess that my own thesis was done without any live recording. However, there's, that doesn't mean that you, know, you don't have an audio aspect to it as well. Music in a silent film, on a silent film, creates emotions and also brings the audience into your film's uh, narrative. So that's, that's the thing. Uh, there will be so many, there will be time for us to talk about all the ways where audio can come into play and how you can enhance that audience's uh, experience. So I hope that I'll be able to see you all and uh, you know, I hope that uh, you, can, you can make beautiful sounding films together. All right, that's it. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Sir JQ. Um, yeah, so for the questions, let's see if we have any questions for me. Um, so uh, basically, so the questions, I think, I think it would be better for you to answer them uh, later uh, during the open forum. So if you, you are gonna be staying, um, we have an open forum where you can, they can ask additional questions. Uh, Derek, am I, uh, do you have like any questions in my? Um, well, is, is there a difference culturally? I guess that's my main question. Uh, uh, with how Filipinos uh, regard sound or sound design for their films, is there a growing uh, dedication and a growing appreciation for more complex research-based sound and really um, good uh, creative uh, uh, space for creating sound for films? That's a really interesting question because I think everyone knows how good dialogue will sound like. Everyone knows how music will evoke the emotions in you in a certain scene, whether it's exciting mm -hmm. or it's sad. Um, I, I, guess, I guess when it comes to the Philippines uh, filmmaking, I would say perspective when it comes to audio, it's 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 up there. I we 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 apply all the same basic principles uh, to our films, and and the thing is that it's a very adaptive process, whether on location, especially on location, um, because we have to deal with so many elements. But the uh, and we are talking about uh, <laughs> traffic. We're talking about people we're talking about you know uh, animal sounds but we all aim for getting that that good tone that good vocal quality from our actors and 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 i believe that it's 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 really more on how we how we perceive how we perceive what we hear and how we take that and put it into the final vision that we have i think that's uh, that's, that's uh, i hope that answers the questions yes thanks uh jq 
uh, we hope to uh, see you later in the open panel for, for, for more questions for, for sound and audio. Thank you. Thank you.